This is one of those tranquil stories with a delightful stream, little ducks, and a water wheel. And what would this setting be without somebody who sounds like Gomer Pyle? A lot of people say I sound like Gomer Pyle. <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't know. I, I don't know where to tell you the confident or what. <laughs> I guess if I could sing like him, I'd be all right. <laughs> Gomer's real name is Billy Lenny. Billy's the third generation in the Lenny family to run this old mill. There used to be 11 mills like this on the creek here in Iredell County. Lenny's is the only one left today. No, we were from Western Salem, and I heard about your good cornmeal, so we drove up here. And the customers come in here from everywhere. If you love cornbread, then these sacks are full of white gold, freshly ground corn. So about 40 years, we've ground uh, roughly about 160,000 bushel of corn. My grandpa used to do it this way. Billy still loads a lot of the small bags of cornmeal by hand, and he ties them up using an old-fashioned miller's knot. That's the most simple as knot there is, but it's the hardest to learn. Yeah, it's like your W-10 forms. They, they claim it's so easy, but it's so hard when you fill them out. <laughs> Billy Lenny never gets in a hurry. And when he's not grinding, his favorite job is tending the old water wheel, keeping it lubricated. This wheel also generates power for the store. It's a pretty amazing operation when you consider it was all built in 1937. Yeah, my grandpa poured the dam by hand with cement mixture. And he put the water wheel up by hand. Billy Lenny says he would not leave this isolated little place in the country for anything. Making a living the way his granddaddy did is just fine with him. Quiet, peaceful. You never had a desire to uh, leave for the city, huh? No, never had no desire to leave for the city. How come? Oh, it's just too fast. They're running back and forth like chickens. <laughs>